Hello, my name is A.S. Silver Thing, and today I'm going to bring you my 60 car Zombie Sworn deck profile. Um, I was supposed to bring this out to you guys a month ago, but I've just been working on it, and then I've been upgrading card rarities for it, or been trying to anyway. And yeah, so let's get started with the um, main deck first. So we're running two Raidens. We're running two Raidens at the moment because um, we've got a lot of normal summon targets in the deck. And I believe just two Raidens is enough for the deck. Uh, it's a level 4 Warrior Tuner, so it's pretty good. Um, effects Mill 2 and Thase Mill 2. Um, then we've got um, double Luminal. You usually want to summon the Raiden off of Lumina. Lumina is here just for those um, Link players, because she's really helpful for the Link players. Um, going Lumina into Lumina into Raiden or into something else. Um, then we're running the four bricks, which is the Triple Wolf, and I'm actually running one Felice. Um, Felice is here because it's actually a target for Curious. You can send uh, Fearless off of Curious, and then you can special summon Fearless. Then if you want, you could either, it's a level 4 tuner, so you could go into a Synchro Summon, or if you want, you can activate her effect, tribute her, pop a monster on your opponent's side of the field. So it's really good. That's it for the Light Swan engine. Then we're running on to the Zombie engine, which is the um, Triple Solitaire and the one Spirit Master. Um, this is actually really good if Spirit Master's in your, uh, if Solitaire's in your grave, Spirit Master into your hand. You can normal summon Spirit Master, special summon the, um, Solitaire from grave. Um, if Spirit Master gets banished, you can pop a card, face up card on your opponent's side of the field. And then if, um, Solitaire gets banished, you can special summon Spirit Master. So it's a really nice combo right there. So that was my phone. Anyway. We're running triple Mizuki. You can't have a you can't have Mizu uh, zombie engine without Mizuki. And then we're running the two Uni Zombie. I really wish they printed U Uni Zombie in Supers, but at the moment we're stuck for commons. Then we're running the Plant Engine, which is the triple Lone Fire Blossom, the double Scorpio, the one Cobra, and I'm actually running one glow bulb as well. Glow bulb is here for Naturia Beast. Not to mention, I'm actually thinking or when it comes out, I'm actually thinking of putting the um, Christian Needle Fiber in the deck, uh, in the extra deck as well. And that's why glow bulb is going to be in here. Then we're running the Perform Age Engine, so the Damage Juggler, the two hat trickers. And with that, the Clown Blade Engine. So the um, Trick Clown and the Thousand Blades. Then just for our other cards, we're just running um, Triple Fairy Tail Snow. One Giant Rex. One Goblin Bug. The one Garnet. The one Turtle. And then we're running two hand traps, which is the two snows, and then the two effect veilers. I'm actually running these two for um, pendulum additions. Not to mention, I don't have ash. That's why I'm running effect veiler. I'm trying to save up for ash. The reprint came out, but the reprint is still a little bit of expensive here in Australia because of the um, the um, prints. Then moving on to spells, we are running Triple Charger Light Brigade. So for the camera being out focused. Um, and then the Triple Solar Recharge. So Charge Light Brigade, you're milling and searching. Solar Recharge, you're milling and drawing power. Then for our other Triple cards, we're running Triple Brain Infusion. Of course, got to run Brain Infusion in this deck. Um, at the moment, 
I'm trying to make up backup back up ideas for Burn Fusion. Some people want it limited or want Seraphonite banned. It's been a big discussion on YouTube a few months ago about it, and it just got me thinking: What happens if it does happen? What should I run instead? So at the moment, I'm trying to think of other cards to replace the Brilliant Fusion engine just in case but at the moment the Brilliant Fusion engine is not really seeing any plays in the meta except for our Slice 1 decks because it's not played in True Jokers, it's not played in Trick Stars, it's not played in Pendulum Magicians, it's just mostly played in our, our, zombie, de our zombie Swan deck or um, Rogue decks then for anyway for our doubles we're running two pod desires, two gold sarcophagus, two twin twisters, one odds, one foolish, one reinforcement, one regaki, one soul charge, and of course the new addition, mm -hmm. one monster reborn, just because it came off the ban list. The extra deck, um. For zombie swans or sexy card zombie swans, the extra deck is actually pretty tight. Like, there's a lot of cards you can run in this deck, and there's more cards even coming out that you can still run in this deck. But this is how I got it built. This is how I got it set up at the moment. It is going to change in the future, but here we go. So X Y Zs. We're running the one Minerva, the one Tornado Dragon, the one Baguska. And the one MX Saber Invoker. Then for our synchros, we are running one Notoria Beast, one Michael, and one Black Rose for level sevens, for level eights, one Bills, and the two Omegas. And now for our Link Monsters, one Mrs. Radiant, one Curious, one Deco Talker, and one Skulldred. And of course, the one fusion, one Seraphonite. Now I'll show you. I'll show you what I have in my um, side deck at the moment. Uh, it's not complete yet, but this is what I'm thinking about. One dark hole, extra destruction, two zombie world. Now, actually, zombie world is actually pretty good. We've got the Mizukis in the deck, and we've got Zombie World, which can turn any monster in our graveyard into zombies. So any monster in our graveyard becomes a Mizuki target. Not to mention, this actually is also for the true Draco matchup, because monsters on the field become zombie types, and you can't tribute anything except for zombie type monsters. So it's actually pretty good. Then we're running the two mind control, just for those link spam decks. Not to mention, it's another bait for um, pendulum magicians, like taking their um, vortex dragon, bait that out. So it's pretty good. For our traps, um, two skill drains, not skill drains. Um, breakthrough skills. So. Freaking so, I, it's just, it, it's in a different language and I just had a mind blank. Anyway, um, this is here also for another negate for Pendulum Magicians. Just another bait out. Also, it's actually pretty good for um, True Dracos. Because um, when they when they go into their masterpieces, they're going to go spells and monsters. Because most of their deck is spells and monsters. But then you can just hit it, like... In game two, you can just go into breakfast, uh, side and breakfast skill, and then just stuff them up. Um, this is supposed to be two mind crush. I've only got one at the moment, I'm trying to get a second one. But mind crush is in here just for decks that like adding stuff to their hands. So trick stars, um, I believe true Dra uh, true Dracos does as well. Pendulum magicians, so it's a pretty good card. It's also a counter out to um, evenly matched. When when they're going to when they go to the battle phase, you can just go flip over, mind crush, call um evenly matched, gets rid of it. And you can look at your opponent's hand as well. 
um, even if they don't have the card in their hand, you can still look at the card, look at their hands, see what they have, see what they can do for future players. Anyway, the last two traps we're running two anti spell anti spell fragrance just for the um, Pendulum magicians. Um, if you guys can see, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 spots, so there's 4 extra spots that you can have. At the moment, when a few more cards come out, I'm actually thinking of um, putting Babuska in the um, side deck. When um, Need a Fireball and the new um, shooting... The new shooting... Star Dragon, the level 7, the new one that just got announced. But, um, yeah, this was my um, 60 card Zombie Swan deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm trying to build, at the moment, I'm trying to build more decks so I can profile instead of profiling Light Swans all the time or profiling my Madoshes because I can actually profile them. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to get more decks finished at the moment. It's just I've been trying to spend all my money and trying to put this deck into a high rarity because um, Light Swans is my favorite deck. It is my favorite deck that I like to play. Anyway, that's all for today. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like on the video. Um, subscribe for more. Oh, well, I'll try to get more gaming videos out and Yu-Gi-Oh! videos out. Um... And I'll see you guys next time.